Hey what is up guys welcome back to my channel and I hope you are doing good. Today in this video I will be showing you how to boost FPS and fix stutters in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 6 after the latest update. These methods will lower your CPU usage, RAM usage, and GPU usage. All the methods shown in this video are for everyone regardless of your PC specifications and are completely harmless, and each and every step is reversible meaning that if you end up with a mistake, you can always undo the changes. Before getting started, if it's your first time watching my videos, then do not forget to subscribe and click the bell icon, I promise you won't regret doing that, also hit a like onto this video, it's gonna make me happy and it just takes less than 2 seconds. So now let's get started. First you need to create a restore point so that if anything goes wrong you can easily revert back without resetting the whole PC. Select the C drive and click on create and name it as backup. Click on the start button and search for regedit, then go to the following location. Go to H key current user, software, Microsoft, and then see if you can find a folder named DirectX, if you can't find it, then right click on Microsoft and select new key. Name the new key as DirectX, it gives me this error as I already have the key named DirectX. Now right click on DirectX and add a new key and name it as user GPU preferences. I already have it, so it displays this error. Open the new key and add a new string value. Now go to your Fortnite game directory, by default it is local disk C, program files, epic games, Fortnite, Fortnite game, binaries, and Win64. You need to copy this location as shown. Now you need to replace the name of the string value with this location, and then you also need to copy the name of Fortnite Win64 shipping.exe file and add it at the end of the string values name as shown. Don't forget to add .exe at the end. Now in the value data section type GPU preference equals 2 as shown. And at the end make sure you add a semicolon. Setting this value to 2 will make the game run in high performance mode, if you notice any issues, you can just change the value back to zero which is the default value. I recommend setting the value to 2 as it gave me better results when compared to the other values like 0 and 1. Once you are done, just press OK and close regedit. Click on the start button and search for settings, and inside gaming turn off game bar. In graphics settings make sure you turn on hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, this option is only available in Windows 2004 and higher versions. Press browse and go to your Fortnite directory and add Fortnite client win64 shipping.exe file. Click on this file and press options and select high performance. Now go to apps and disable all unnecessary startup apps.
Now search for background apps and then turn off all background apps. Now go to system and then notifications and actions, here you need to disable notifications. Then go to focus assist and turn it off. In multitasking, turn off snap windows and after that go to clipboard and turn off clipboard history. And press clear clipboard data. Once it's done, go to update and security and make sure you are updated to the latest version of windows. Open start menu and search for this PC, then right click on it and select properties. Go to advanced and press change in the virtual memory section. And here, uncheck automatically manage paging file size for all drives, and select the C drive and set the paging file size to system managed, and press set and then press OK and apply. Then choose the restart later option. Download my Fortnite FPS Drops Fix Pack, you can find the link in the description below. Copy this game user settings file, and then go to the following location. Replace this with my game user settings file. Now right click on this file and go to properties and check read only. Delete all the crash files. Open all the reg files one by one. If you notice any issues, then you can use the revert file to revert all the reg values back to default. Go to custom clean, this will clear all your internet cache and temporary files on your computer.
Set the list size to 1024 MB and in free memory is lower than section, enter the value which you get when you divide your RAM memory by 2. Check enable custom timer resolution and set it to 0.5. Then press start and minimize ISLC, make sure you don't close it. Open MSI mode tool as an administrator, then find your graphics card and set its interrupt priority to high. Press apply and then close it. Choose any one of these two files based on your system architecture, if you have a 32-bit PC then choose the 32-bit file, if you have a 64-bit PC then choose the 64-bit file. If you have an AMD CPU then you can use the AMD High Performance Power Plan, but if you don't have it then you can use Ultimate Performance Power Plan. Then set the Core Parking Index, Frequency Scaling, Turbo Boost and Performance to high by dragging them completely towards the right. Now run all the bat files one by one. Open Disk Cleanup and select Local Disk C. Check everything in here and then press OK. After it finishes, Make sure to restart your PC so that all the changes will get applied. Please consider subscribing my channel if this video helped you, do like and share. Thanks for watching and if you have any issues regarding this video, just comment below and I will try to answer them as soon as possible.